This is my second time trying to film this video because I just hate how I introed the video the last time because I feel like I just can't be eloquent. So we're just going to try this again. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to be talking about some of my favorite cosplay products. Obviously this is a video that is going to be relevant year round, but I also thought that it would be especially relevant now in December with the holiday uh, season in full swing because a lot of you are probably going to be looking for cosplay products for your friends and family, but obviously it will also be helpful just like year round if you're looking for cosplay products. So this is going to basically be a cosplayer holiday gift guide slash my favorite cosplay products uh, video. So kind of dual purpose, I guess. Um, so yeah, this video was actually suggested by a viewer of mine. I can't remember who exactly suggested it. I'm so sorry, I didn't, I didn't actually save the comment, but I did reply to it. And uh, this person asked if I could do a holiday gift guide for cosplayers. And um, so that's obviously what I'm doing um, right now. I wanna give a huge thank you to that person. It's very helpful when you guys ask me to do certain videos. Um, I obviously can't guarantee that I will be able to do every single video that is suggested to me, but it is really helpful to hear from you guys and hear what you guys would like to see. So if there are any videos that you'd like to see in the future, please feel free to leave that in my comment section. And again, I can't guarantee that I'll actually make the video, but I will still obviously take into consideration what you guys want to see. So yeah, before we get into the video, I just want to give a huge disclaimer. I'm not sponsored by any of the products or any of the companies that I'll be talking about in this video. These are genuinely just products that I like, that I enjoy using, and that I found helpful, that I want to share with you guys. Um, so yeah, not sponsored at all whatsoever. <laughs> um, but if I was sponsored by some of these companies, that would be like really, really cool. But I'm not, so yeah. Anyway, all that out of the way, let's get into it. This is my holiday gift guide slash my favorite cosplay products video. Let's go. Urgh. Okay, so I have a box full of all my favorite cosplay products and I'm just gonna go through them and um, show you guys and it, it's, it's gonna be good. Let's do this. I also have a list. I always love having my handy dandy list. So we're just gonna go down the list. These are gonna be in no particular order. So yeah. All right, let's go. All right, so the first product that I want to talk about are character masks. Obviously, we're still in the middle of a pandemic, but being double vaxxed is a thing. And so conventions have been slowly coming back, which is awesome to see. Obviously, when you go to conventions nowadays, it is mandatory for you to wear a mask. And it's very helpful and I think really adds to your cosplay if your mask matches your cosplay rather than just having like, you know, a plain white mask or a plain black mask or whatever. Um, so what I've really gotten into is making masks for my cosplays, um, but some masks Masks are more complicated and I can't actually like make them from scratch. So I've gotten into uh, buying masks to match my cosplays. And my favorite place to go for that is Redbubble. Redbubble, if you don't know, is a site where artists can basically share their art on various products. So they have things like t-shirts, wall prints, stationery, cups, any household item or piece of apparel that you can really think of. And that of course includes masks. So for example, I just spat. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Um, so for example, I recently got this mask for my Atsushi cosplay from Bungo Stray Dogs. I'm very excited to use this with my cosplay. Um, like I said, I really think having a matching character mask really adds to your cosplay and just I think it's gonna be like a lot of fun just having that as like an extra little cherry on top of your cosplay. I don't view wearing a mask with your cosplay as a bad thing. I really think that it's an opportunity to be creative and really have fun with it. So this is my Atsushi mask. I think it's gonna be very good. They have a whole bunch of other masks. They have ones for like Demon Slayer cosplays. They have ones for My Hero Academia cosplays. Um, I personally just bought a mask for my Mitsuri cosplay and also one for my Millie cosplay. So I'm excited for when those come in. They have two types of masks. They have this one, which is not fitted. Um, I usually wear these ones to work and I find them really comfortable. I really like them. I have a whole bunch of different like fandom masks. I have like Promise Neverland. I have Bungo Stray Dogs. And obviously I'm excited to wear these with my cosplays. They do kind of slide down a little bit. So you do have to have them on pretty tightly to keep them from sliding on. Then the other option they have is a fitted mask, which is a little bit more expensive. It's about twice the, not a little bit more expensive. It's twice the price. So it is quite a bit more expensive than these masks. Um, but anyway, they have these fitted masks, which are more expensive, but they are going to slide down less and they're going to be obviously better fitted to you. So whichever one you prefer, whichever one works with your budget, basically the options are out there. Um, when it comes to designs, there are literally thousands and thousands and thousands of designs on Redbubble. So for whatever cosplay you're doing, 
the chances are really high that you're going to be able to find a mask to match. So um, red bubble masks, absolutely fantastic for cosplay, strongly recommend. Next up, we have the ColourPop Freckle Pen. I'll just bring that in closer to you. So ColourPop Freckle Pen, um, obviously it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a pen meant for putting on freckles. I used this for my Emma cosplay and I was really happy with how it looks. Are they the most like 100% natural looking freckles? No, but I personally am really happy with how they looked and it's, it's really easy to just draw them on. It has a nice little felt tip there and you literally just all over your face. Um, then you just blend it out a little bit to make it look more natural. Um, I personally have been really happy with this. It saves me a lot of hassle because before I would have to try and use multiple different eyebrow pencils. And it took a long time to find ones that were like the right color, that were the right shape and sharpness to make a proper freckle, if that makes sense. So this is just automatically made and meant for drawing on freckles. So it's really handy and it's also really cheap. I can't remember the exact price, but I'll have it on screen right now. You can find this on ColourPop's website and um, yeah, definitely a nice little um, cosplay hack lifesaver product. <laughs> yeah. Next up, we have Fake Blood. This is Ben Nye Stage Blood. Um, it is zesty mint flavored. This is fantastic. I use it for all of my cosplays. I've used it for Millie. I've used it for Atsushi. I've used it for Yuri from Doki Doki Literature Club. It is fantastic. It looks really natural. It looks really real. And it's really easy to apply. You literally just use a Q-tip and just put it on yourself. Um, again, it is zesty mint flavored. So this one you can put in your mouth. Um, not all of the Ben Nye fake bloods are meant to be used in your mouth, um, but this one is. So it's important to make sure that you're getting this particular one that's, that's the zesty mint flavored because that one is obviously gonna be safe to put in your mouth. Um, so if you're doing you know, a shoot where you're like a vampire or something, you can totally just put this in your mouth. It will taste minty, minty fresh. And then you can just have it like drip down your face or whatever. Um, anyway, this is my favorite type of fake blood. I really, really enjoy using it and I strongly recommend it. So yeah, this is Ben Nye Stage Blood. Keeping on the Ben Nye theme, I'm next gonna talk about body paint. Now, before I do, I do want to say that I, I have a full body paint video, which I'll have linked up there if you want to check it out. I go into depth on all the products that I use and how I apply them. But just really quickly, um, this is my favorite type of uh, body paint to use. This is the Ben Nye FX Cream Color. And literally what I do is I just use a beauty blender and I, I dip it in and then um, pat it all over my face. Again, really solid product, looks really good, is really well pigmented, especially the white. Finding a white body paint that's actually well pigmented is really difficult, but this stuff is like professional grade, meant like meant to be good um, body paint. So I strongly recommend it. I use the white for my Charlie and the red for my Millie. And I've been really happy with how both of those cosplays have come out, how the makeup has worked. Um, so yeah, when it comes to body paint, definitely the Ben Nye FX cream paints are the way to go in my opinion. All right, again, continuing with Ben Nye. I swear I'm not sponsored by Ben Nye. I just really love their products. Um, we have the Ben Nye Final Seal Setting Spray. This is the spray that I use for all of my makeup. So whether it's body paint or regular makeup, um, this is what I use to seal it. It's very important to seal your makeup so that it has a longer lifespan. And especially when you're doing body paint, you don't want it to rub off. Um, this stuff is great. Again, it is mint flavored. So whenever you spray it, it's like a minty fresh scent on you. This is my favorite sealing spray, strongly recommend it. Great product. We're still sticking with Ben Nye. 90% of this video is just going to be Ben Nye. Um, to go with the Ben Nye sealing spray, this is my favorite um, sealing powder. So this is the Ben Nye Neutral Set Colorless Powder. How it's meant to work is if you're doing body paint, once you've applied the body paint, you powder yourself with this and then you seal it with the sealing spray. Uh, the same goes for regular makeup. It's a colorless powder, so you can use it on any makeup, whether it's just regular makeup or body paint, any color of body paint, you know, whatever. Um, you just powder this on your face, seal it with the sealing spray and you're good to go. Um, it also keeps you from getting shiny, which is good. Um, so yeah, the Ben Nye Neutral Set Colorless Powder, again, my favorite setting powder. This is my second to last Ben Nye uh, product. I promise we're almost done with all the Ben Nye products. This is my favorite spirit gum and this is the uh, Ben Nye 
spirit gum. If you don't know what spirit gum is, it's basically like a skin glue. <laughs> so if you're gluing things like rhinestones to your face, or you know, if you're cosplaying Raven and you're putting her little jewel on your forehead, or if you're gluing like fake hair to your face, like you know, you're doing a beard or a mustache or something, this is the product that you're gonna use for it. Obviously, it's skin safe, it's gonna be gentle on your skin, and it's gonna keep things on for a very long time. Usually this lasts me the entire con day, which is great. And then to take it off, you just use the Ben Nye Spirit Gum Remover. Most of the time, honestly, I don't usually use the remover. Like if I'm just gluing things like rhinestones to my face, it's really easy to just pick them off at the end of the day. Um, but if you're doing something more in depth, like, like a beard or something, you're going to want to use this. So yeah, it's really gentle on your skin, works really well. Again, will last a full con day. So I definitely recommend getting the Ben Nye Spirit Gum and Spirit Gum Remover. Our final Ben Nye product um, is the Ben Nye. Oh, I can't read this because the writing has come off. This is the Ben Nye tooth color. It comes in multiple different colors. I have the black one. This is what I use for doing tooth gaps. So when I'm cosplaying Spider Gwen or when I'm cosplaying Millie from Hell of a Boss, obviously they both have tooth gaps um, in the front. And this is what you use to safely draw on your tooth. So obviously if you're cosplaying a character who's missing teeth or has a tooth gap or anything like that, you can use this to make it look like you're missing teeth. Also when my friend cosplayed Baggy from Husband Hotel and we cosplayed Charlie and Baggy together, they used this product to draw on their teeth to make their teeth look pointy. Um, it worked super well. So there are many different uses for this. It also comes in multiple different colors. So for example, if you need to have like yellow teeth, if you're cosplaying like a pirate or something that has like yellow teeth, there's that option available to you as well. Um, again, a really great product to really elevate your cosplays and elevate like the look of your cosplays. Um, so yeah, that is the Ben Nye tooth color. All right, we are done with our Ben Nye products. The next product that we're going to be talking about is the Sculpey um, Ultralight Clay. I'll just take it out of the baggie here. This is a product that I talked about in my previous video, um, but I'm just going to talk about it again in case you didn't see that video or in case you need a refresher or whatever. What I just figured it was worth talking about again. Um, this is my favorite clay to use. This is the Sculpey Extra Light oven bake clay. Um, like I said in my previous video, I used this for my Millie horns and this was great because it's really sturdy. So I've been able to walk into many doorways with my horns and they haven't broken at all. Um, it also just keeps things really light. So I was able to sew my Millie horns into the front of my wig and it didn't weigh down the wig at all. Like I said, it's ultra light. So one feature that they advertise about this product is that it can float. So if you form it into a ball and then put it in the glass of water, it's going to float. So that's how light it is. So it's great for things like jewelry, horns, headpieces, what have you, because um, obviously it's going to be light enough that it's not going to weigh you down. It's not going to make you uncomfortable. So yes, definitely recommend. This is the Sculpey Extra Light Oven Bake Clay. And our final product, which is one of my absolute favorite cosplay products. I don't have it in the proper packaging, unfortunately. It's just in this little container that I keep them in. Um, but I'll have a picture on screen. These are the Scarecrow Custom Molded Fangs. I love these fangs so much. I've used these fangs for my Millie cosplay. I've used them for my Charlie cosplay. I've used them for my Undyne cosplay. They are my go-to fangs. What, what is great about them? Um, first of all, they come in a variety of styles. They have like ones that are top and bottom fangs. They have them in multiple different sizes. They have them in again, multiple different styles. So there's a lot to work with. And what's great about them is that they are custom molded. So they come with a little um, liquid and powder that you mix together to make this like little molding agent kind of like a clay and then you put those in the fangs then you push the fangs up over your teeth you let them dry and then you have a pair of custom molded fangs the other great thing is that they aren't a stark white they are an off-white color so they're going to match your natural tooth color um really well one thing that a lot of people use for fake teeth is fake nails. So you take a fake nail you cut it into a fang shape and then you glue that with a food safe glue um, to your teeth. The one problem with that is that usually the nails are stark white and your natural teeth are not colored like that. They have a, a slightly yellowish tinge to it. So it doesn't always look the most natural, but these fangs look really natural. They're really easy to custom mold and you can always remold them. They have kits that you can get to remold the teeth. Um, so it's really worth it. They're a little bit expensive, but it's really worth it for your money. They really elevate your cosplays and they, again, look really natural and they're really easy to use. So that is the Scarecrow Custom Molded Fangs. Strongly recommend. And those are my favorite cosplay products. I hope that this was helpful for you guys. Um, so yeah, if you're looking for cosplay products for yourself or if you're looking for gifts for your cosplay friends, these are all great options for you. I personally love these products. I use them all the time and they've really helped elevate my cosplays and um, just make things 
better. <laughs> so yeah, I hope this was helpful for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will also have links to these products in the description to help you out. So be sure to check that out if you're interested in any of the products that you saw in this video. If you are new here and you'd like to see more videos like this, I put out new videos every Sunday and it would be awesome to have you here. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will see you guys all next time, but until then, Panda Faces, please be sure to take care. Bye!